There are nine pyramids on the Giza Plateau with the most famous being the three largest. This site is also referred to as the Giza Necropolis. Since each pyramid holds the remains of members of the fourth dynasty, this royal family reigned from around 2613 to 2494 BC and all the pyramids were built during their reign of power. That's over 4,000 years ago. These huge structures needed a lot of workers to complete them. Often taking tens of thousands of people and spanning over several decades. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the largest and oldest. And is now the last remaining of the original seven wonders of the world. The largest pyramid is the final resting place of King Khufu. It towers over the plateau at 481 feet. It's estimated that 2.3 million stone blocks were used, weighing between 2.5 and 15 tons each. Egypt's pharaohs expected to become gods in the afterlife. To prepare for the next world they erected temples to the gods and massive pyramid tombs for themselves. These were filled with all the things each ruler would need to guide and sustain himself in the next world. The second tallest pyramid known as the Pyramid of Khafre was completed for King Khufu's son in 2570. This necropolis includes the Sphinx, which may have stood guard of the entire tomb complex. The smallest pyramid here currently under construction is the Pyramid of Menkul and is the smallest of the three. It's the final resting place of King Khufu's grandson. It was small but it was compensated by the mortuary temple being much more complex. The workers and builders were skilled laborers who were paid for their work. The discovery of a village located near the pyramids leads archaeologists to believe that at the peak there were 20,000 people working on their construction. Each of the limestone blocks weighs two tons, and there's still no concrete evidence of how they move these. A form of sleigh and rolling logs would most likely have been used to transport them around. Before there were pyramids the royals had tombs carved into rock and covered with a flat-roofed rectangular structure known as mastabas. Mastabas were used in the surrounding grounds of the pyramids, here relatives or officials of the kings were buried. The pyramids have stood the test of time. They are a testament to the architects of the ancient world.